Listen, I know me and Karen can never be friends. That's one thing we can agree on. <laughs> I don't want to fall out with you about this. You know what that baby means to me, especially after Katie. Katie? Mum? <laughs> this one got in with the right bad lot. And then he disappeared. We thought he'd been murdered. Why are you dragging this up now? I was so worried. I started off in labour. My baby girl didn't even have a chance to survive. You are disgusting. You are. You have tried everything you can to split me and Steve up. And you can't bear the fact that despite you, and despite that tart and a baby, we're still rock solid, so what do you go and do? You go so low that you drag your dead baby out of a grave. You call me disgusting. How dare you? As if Steve wasn't feeling guilty enough about chucking you out. You remind him that maybe, and it is only a flaming maybe, that because he got in trouble, it cost you your baby. He lost your kid. So you want to blow his life apart? That isn't just disgusting, Liz. That is sick. Don't you dare look down your nose at me, you cow. Right, come on, that is enough, the both of you. No, Steve, I've been biting my tongue long enough. Well, then maybe you should have bit it a damn sight harder. I'm not going to stand by and watch you make a fool of my son anymore. Because he deserves better than a common little tart who'll drop a knickers for any man who whips out his wallet. Oh, yeah. I've heard all about you running off with your boss at Baldwin's and then coming crawling back to Steve and telling him how sorry you were. Because I was. Oh, yeah. And how did you repay him? By spending every penny he's got and more on that flipping circus of a wedding so you could be queen of the flaming me instead of the gobby, brawling little slapper that you really are. He's broke now. What are you going to do? Look round for the next mug. Mum, enough. Do you know something? People round here think Tracy Barlow is a nasty little cow. Well, I so wish my son had run off with her and their baby because he couldn't have done any worse than he has with you. You scum, Karen. Selfish, lying, cheating, money-grabbing scum.